Myth number one. The first myth we're going to look at is the myth that you can jump over the flagpole whilst playing Super Mario Bros for the NES. Now in certain worlds this is possible, but for the most of it it's simply not. For Mario can't get enough speed or height to clear the hitbox from the top of the pole. Um, this would give you the normal 5,000 points. Um, it's documented in YouTube videos and in online forums such as gamesfaq.com that you can do this and you can actually clear the top of the hitbox. However, if you do this, Mario is, go in, is left with a flat ground, essentially soft locking the game um, as it's then no longer able to be completed. And you'll just have an endless amount of pre rendered tiles which will allow you to run and run infinitely until you either die or a timer runs out. The second myth that we're looking at is the myth of Mew and the truck. Pokemon Blue, Red and I believe also Yellow for Game Boy Color and Game Boy. So according to this myth, if you went to the truck near the SSN and you use strength on it, you would be able to remove the truck, producing a Pokeball. Upon clicking this Pokeball, Mew would appear, and you would be able to fight Mew and potentially catch Mew. So the Pokemon scene went wild with rumour and playground story of how Mew was found. Everything from previously, as I've stated, the strength trick, to the strength trick, but only working after you defeated the Elite Four, to the strength trick only working after you delete the Elite Four four times consecutively, to using cut to slash the tires to then allow the truck to be moved to winning a truck key from the game corner now unfortunately for those who want to mute none of these were true um, however the truth of the truck is it was no more than an easter egg it's been confirmed by nintendo as no more than an easter egg and something to fill the space um, and it is also confirmed that it does not contain a hidden mew uh, nintendo have confirmed the only way to get a Mew in the Pokemon Blue, Red or Yellow series is to attend a special event in person with the copy of your game. Apart from that, the only other way known to do it is via a cheat device or via emulation cheats. Number three we'll be looking at is the Lara Croft nude cheat. Now this myth circulated like wildfire because every prepubescent gamer thought that nudity was the most coveted treat in gaming. Now it's not to say that I personally believe this one, but I did think it seemed a bit, a bit out, outlandish, but it never stopped other people from trying to achieve the impossible of catching Lara Croft without her clothes on. There were dozens and dozens of different ways you could achieve this supposedly and I'm going to just give you a few examples of some of the ones I've found online. Um, so with completing the game in under 30 minutes, beating the game only using your pistol, beating the game by only sidestepping, beating the game by only using the L1, R1, L2 and R2 triggers, completing obstacle course in less than a minute, and I even read of one absurd as tapping buttons to the beat of Spice Girl songs, which were quite big back then. Um, yet no matter how hard people tried, Lara was never seen naked in the game. Uh, she was however seen naked due to a hack of the uh, game uh, made by modders, but from the official release there was no naked Lara. The fourth myth we're going to be looking at is the Mortal Kombat blood code for the SNES. Now, whilst blood was available on the Mega Drive by entering a code ABACABB to enable the blood in Mortal Kombat, the SNES version not quite so. Um, Nintendo being more family friendly, they didn't like the idea of spines being ripped out and blood everywhere. So they replicated it with a grey goo and fatalities were also changed to fairly innocent versions of the ones that would appear in the arcade or Mega Drive version. Now the fact that the Mega Drive owners were given this option as a cheat, um, code cheat, whatever you want to call it, 
um, just added fuel to the fire for people to search for the SNES blood code, but no such thing ever existed. Myth number five. Myth number five we're going to be looking at is Luigi in appearing in Super Mario 64, otherwise known as L is Real. Now L is Real 2401 is an easter egg theory that appeared in Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64. It involves the character Luigi and his lack of presence in the game, and has led to many theories across the internet. Super Mario 64 was originally going to be a two player game with both Mario and Luigi being playable characters but due to system capabilities at the time this prevented this from happening and Luigi was removed from the game. Luigi did however make an appearance on the N64 in Mario Kart 64. In the courtyard area where the booze later reside there was a statue at the heart of it. The statue is of a giant star with a blurry inscription beneath it. Although it's hard to read, the text on the inscription can be interpreted as either Eternal Star or more likely for this myth, L is real 2401, depending on the viewing angle from the player. Whilst Eternal Star made much more sense considering you're standing in front of a giant star, people quickly latched onto L is real as an idea and looked that the L stood for Luigi and therefore Luigi must be in the game. One theory was that 2401 represented every gold coin in every world of the game and by collecting every single coin the player would have to come back to the statue where Luigi would be a playable character. Now IGN responded to the number of questions about Luigi by offering a $100 bounty for people who could prove Luigi was in the game. A number of fake cases were submitted but when Luigi's appearance was proven a myth, they were miraculously dropped. In 1991, Luigi was going to appear in Super Mario 64 2, but this was cancelled due to commercial failure of the Nintendo Disk Drive, or Nintendo 64 DD. And a little bit of trivia. The message L is real 2041 is also found in Dodongo's Cavern in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video, please don't forget to subscribe and drop a like, please let me have a comment as well if I'd like to know some views and opinions if any of you have heard any of these differently or have any other myths that you'd be interested in me looking into. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video.